Hello everyone, welcome back to my learning session of Big Data, the world of big values. In this sessions and in this entire tutorial, we are trying to cover up about Big Data ecosystems and its related term. So this is my 12th video of this entire tutorial and in this video we are going to discuss about Apache Cassandra. So what is exactly Apache Cassandra and why we have to know about that? So uh, we can understand that many of today's online applications have database requirements that exceed the capability of legacy relational databases. So the, the need for very very low lat latency here to for unknown level of scaling or continuous uptimes or global distribution of dates or data, the capability about the both read and write data anywhere and reducing both software and the operational cost uh, all have given birth to the non-relational database category and we already understand and uh, know about that what is actually meaning of non-relational database. So exactly the question is coming that what is we are going to uh, learn in Apache Cassandra. So Apache Cassandra is a massively scalable open source non-relational database that offers continuous availability, linear scale performance, operational simplicity and easy data distribution across multiple data centers and cloud availability zones. So Cassandra was originally developed at Facebook and right now it was uh, under Apache project but it was open source from 2008 and become a top level Apache project in 2010. So <clears throat> this is the basic introduction about Apache Cassandra. So we have to understand that what is the basic feature and the benefits of Cassandra which makes it, it on the top level priority. So Cassandra provides a number of key features and benefits for those looking to use it as an underlying database for modern online applications. So the first one is the massively a scalable architecture. What is the meaning of massively a scalable architecture? So a masterless design where all nodes are the same which provides operational simplicity and easy scale out. It means in Apache Cassandra no master slave conditions are there. The next thing is linear scale performance. So the ability of adding nodes without going down produces predictable increases in performance. So that is the meaning of linear scale performance. It means whatever condition is there we are going to add the node we are going to remove the node the performance will be as it is as they are before it continuously availability to offer redundancy of both data and node function which eliminate single point of failure and provide constant uptime so the next key feature is transparent fault detection and recovery so note that fault can easily be restored or replaced into apache cassandra and that is very, very handy uh, the next is flexible and dynamic data model. It means it supports modern data type with fast write and read operations. And the last but not least, we can say multiple data center replications. It means across multiple data centers, uh, it will be either in, in the same geographic or into the multiple geography. It's not any worry about that and multi-cloud availability zone support for read and write for that. Uh, data compression, it means uh, data compression up to 80% without performance overhead. And in the last, we can understand that that one of the one of the most important and uh, personally I like it that is SQL. That is in detail, it is called as Cassandra Query language. So it is an SQL-like language that makes moving from relational database very easy. So in the next video, we will discuss about introduction of MongoDB and uh, if you didn't subscribe my channel till now so please subscribe it and please comment down if you are getting any problem or any confusion into this video till that enjoy learning thanks